the what's up guys welcome to digitalage.com and in this video we would be going ahead and we would be creating the front end design for our to do maker so till now we have this login page i'm gonna log in right now i'm gonna redirect me to the index page if i'm logging with the right credentials so uh, what i'm gonna do is <clears throat> out here i'm gonna create a new file with the name called index.php okay and out here we're gonna you know create different design for our to do maker so very first we're gonna start up with the normal html markup and uh, for the title i'm gonna say uh, to do maker okay for the style sheet let's say css st slash style.css and we do need a copy of jquery might be so i can keep it out here okay <clears throat> so guys uh next thing we need to do is uh, we need to you know create a dev so let me say dev uh, with an id to gd container okay let me give myself a note here uh, next thing uh, i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create two devs inside it the one gonna be on the very left hand side probably be a menu bar and the uh, second one gonna be on the right hand side that actually gonna create all of our tools so for that what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to bootstrap.php. I want to click on co components, and uh, out here probably you know go to navigation, or you know I believe we need to go to base CSS. Uh, let's check out if we can get something out here. Ah oh, no. No, we can hardly get anything out here. Let me go back to components and come here to the bottom. Uh, bottom. Okay, oh, guys, so this is actually what we are looking for. We probably you know need a sidebar. We have you know some menus where we can click on home or we can go to inbox. So I'm gonna copy everything from here. Okay, and uh, out here I'm gonna say a div ID with a sidebar. Okay. And I'm going to copy everything. So take these dots off, uh, drag them here, and you know, just. And here is our li. Here is our, you know, an icon of a book. So uh, instead of library, I can probably say inbox. Okay, so these actually going to be our labels for our to do that we're going to create. So, you know, we can have a label for. Uh, inbox we can have for read later we can have a label for important so you know we can have you know some various type of labels but uh, by default uh, let's keep it to inbox okay copy it paste it for a couple of times uh, here I'm gonna say read later uh, then I'm gonna say uh, important and then let's say okay I believe uh, three are fine for now if you want more we can you know create them later and uh, now next thing we need is I'm gonna say div id uh, main content okay uh, here I'm gonna give myself a note again and main content and here I'm gonna say a div with an id of head probably here say n head and then I'm gonna say div with an id of main body and here again a note says n main body okay and here I can say is, uh, you know, an H2 uh, would say is manage to do. Okay. And then, you know, probably I can have another div. Well, let's say div uh, add more. And let's say end add more. And here I can have an anchor link. Uh, which will you know go to add new.php that we're going to create in a second so i'm going to say add new.php ah that's funny so i'm going to take the title off the target off i'm going to give it a class to button and uh you know a class to button success to get a green color button and here let's say you know add new okay and you know guys uh, out here in the body we can have a table so let's go back to bootstrap uh, let's say from here we can get tables 
uh, we can get tables here so I'm gonna copy everything from here or you know probably we need we need a table with a class called stripe so I'm gonna copy it uh, paste it here like this uh, then I'm gonna say you know a table head uh, with a tr and some table data uh, the very first one gonna be a title okay uh, the next one let's say copy it for a couple of times then you know let's say a short snippet of what exactly it is okay uh, then here I'm gonna say uh, you know a due date then I'm gonna say uh, time remaining like how much time left or probably you know I can say time left uh, here I can say a progress and out here I'm gonna say you know some actions if you want to delete it or if you want to edit it okay so I believe that's all uh, go back to the CSS file that's style.css here I'm gonna say uh, ID sidebar uh, shift float towards left okay uh, it should have a width to 18% uh, and I can say the main content uh, shift float towards right and uh, it can have a width to you know somewhere near on around 74 person or you know uh, 72 person okay uh, then I can say ID main content uh, ID head uh, gonna have a background to you know a nicer gray color like this uh, then say a border bottom to uh, one pixel solid a bit darker shade in gray and I can say a font size to probably 14 pixels uh, then let's give it some padding to let's say 5 pixels okay copy it from here paste it here uh, I'm gonna say the head h2 should float towards the uh, you know lift and you know ID main content and uh, ID go back to the index file uh, ID add more should go ahead and float towards right so let's say float uh, towards right and you know uh, out here guys I can you know give some class to clear fix so that we can make sure that you know uh, these devs are you know floating towards left and right so we just gotta make sure that uh, our classes should have you know should clear everything uh, above and after it so I'm gonna say a class repair fix here and a class repair fix here come back and let's see how our page looks right now so refresh okay guys uh, this is how it's it, uh, actually look, looking right now so uh, it, it's pretty bad actually so let's test what's the problem here it's a sidebar our sidebar does not have any you know uh, background color or something so uh, for the sidebar come back to the style sheet uh, here uh, I'm gonna say you know it should have a background to again uh, you know a lighter gray and, and copy it paste it here and you know I can say sidebar li uh, you know probably I believe we don't need this it will be taken care of by bootstrap it's so, uh, but it's not doing it. Let me check. Uh, okay, guys, because we haven't, you know, included the bootstrap file. Actually, that's our problem. So that needs to be inside, you know, uh, CSS and bootstrap.css. So copy it from here, paste it here, and here I'm gonna say bootstrap slash CSS slash bootstrap.css so come back refresh oh it's it's looking quite better now so you know just load down our firebug and see what's the real deal now because you know it's actually you know getting very much on the right on the, on the left and it's very much on the right so we just need to take care of that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say ID T D container uh, out here I'm gonna say should have a width to let's say thousand pixels and should have a margin to other okay so that actually gonna center things to our page come back it's fine now and here I'm gonna say you know padding uh, top to let's say 40 pixels 
now uh, it's out here on the bottom and guys uh, you know actually uh, for the body I can say should have you know that gray color that we had earlier in our login page and now we need to take care of uh, uh, this particular uh, I would say the main content header and you know the uh, this particular table because it's looking quite a bit right now so uh, very first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say it should have a padding to 10 pixels okay I believe it's a bit fine now uh, or you know what instead of giving padding there what I can do is uh, I can just sidebar LIA should have a padding to 10 pixels you know something like this or you know let's say 3 pixels and 5 pixels uh, is that fine we need you know some more from the left so let's say padding uh, left to uh, probably 10 pixels okay uh, 10 is quite less or let's say 15 it's fine now and I can say a margin um, bottom to 2 pixels okay it's it's you know a bit fine now and if I'm gonna click on someone okay and now next thing we need to actually you know take care of this particular uh, manage tool stuff so come here use firebug and I have a class called PFX here probably if I remove it now well, nothing happens here is our header and here is our main body so I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna go back to my style sheet and I'm gonna say main body should clear uh, both and our head you know should have a minimum height to 40 pixels and a line height to 40 pixels as well so come back refresh now it's looking a bit you know, nice nicer right now okay that's fine and you know we can also you know style our tables a bit and you know we can actually give the entire this td container a background to white color so come back here uh, let's say a background to white okay and let's say you know now the padding to 10 pixels bottom so refresh okay it's fine now guys and now we can you know actually create the rest of the table so go ahead uh, here I'm gonna say uh, T body should have a TR uh, let's say like this and here I'm gonna say a TD to uh, title let's say to do uh, description should complete it and then here I'm going to say a due date to um, let's say uh, 2012 March 11th okay uh, then I'm going to say you know the remaining time time left actually to uh, let's say 18 hours okay uh, here I'm going to say the progress and guys for the progress we actually going to use a progress bar so I'm gonna go back to Twitter um Twitter once again and here I'm gonna click to progress bars and I'm gonna copy this particular one okay so copy everything from here and paste it here and you know get this one here on the bottom give them some spacing from the left uh, like this okay and guys the very last thing is actually an action so let's say you know something called edit and delete and if later if you want we can actually you know replace them with some icons so guys here is our you know uh, actually our tool we want to look like so here is this progress here it says edit or delete and here is our edit you know add new button and out here on the top we can probably you know put some heading so come back uh, probably here uh, I can say you know a, a ref to index.php uh, remove the title remove the target uh, you know give it a class to brand and here I'm gonna say to to do maker come back refresh uh, here we have I just look quite ugly okay I know why because we haven't you know included the uh, Google font 
file that's the reason so I'm gonna go back uh, to my login.php and I'm gonna grab it from here and I'm gonna paste it here so like this refresh once again now it's looking you know quite uh, nice if you want you can actually you know put it on the left but for now I'm not actually gonna you know focus a lot on uh, styling and guys I'm actually gonna you know increase the width for this particular stuff where it says manage to do so uh, come back to style.css file and here where it says you know 72 I want to say uh, 82 actually uh, okay that's fine according to me if you don't like it change it from your side and guys for the h2 I'm gonna say a font size so a bit you know smaller to manage to be 14 I'll probably say 16 okay that's fine according to me and guys next thing we're gonna build uh, is actually this uh, particular you know add new form so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy everything from here from the top uh, till our sidebar okay and here uh, I'm gonna say PHP uh, include once statics slash uh, header dot PHP okay and here I'm gonna close my PHP tags and here I'm gonna you know create a new folder called statics and here uh, I'm gonna create a new file called header.php like this come back to my editor paste everything come back refresh the page and it's similar to the one we had earlier so now this is our very first page uh, next thing we need to go ahead and build a add new form page so I'm gonna say add uh, new.php okay uh, very first I'm gonna say PHP include once statics slash header.php okay uh, the next thing I'm gonna say you know a dev ID main content here okay then I'm gonna say you know a dev with an ID of head uh, with an h2 uh, where it will say is you know create uh, to do like this and here I'm gonna say dev ID main body okay uh, and here guys uh, I want to say you know a div uh, with a class of form field okay the very first one gonna be our label uh, they're gonna say label for title okay like this uh, then I'm gonna say uh, input like this uh, input type text name gonna be say title uh, we don't need any value and probably give it an ID to title as well okay uh, I'm gonna copy it from here and I'm gonna paste it for a couple of times uh, instead of title I'm gonna say uh, let's see a description okay and here instead of input we probably need a text here so I want to remove it and uh, uh, here I'm gonna say text area with a name to the description and you know just keep it here give it an ID to the description as well and here I'm gonna say due date okay but well, guys right now we're just gonna keep it to text and later uh, we're gonna use jQuery UI to actually you know append a calendar to, to this particular field so here I'm gonna say due date and paste it here and uh, then here I'm gonna say uh label under okay like where we actually want to put it by default so they're gonna be a select box i'm gonna say select a uh, name equals to label under and here the id gonna be equals to label under and here are some options to so option value of nothing uh here i'm gonna say select and copy it from here like this the very first one I'm gonna say inbox here I'm gonna say inbox uh, let me check out which other two we have so we have a read later so let's say read later uh, with a space here and read later here with a space and then we're gonna have here an important one copy here paste here and I believe we are done with that as well so I believe guys that all we need and finally we can gonna go ahead and we can create a button and let's say input type submit on uh, name to create 
uh, create to do okay uh, value let's say create uh, give it an ID to the same one okay and I'm gonna give it a class to button and you know button uh, in front okay so come back refresh go to that particular page and this is how our form is right now I know it's you know quite ugly so probably I can go back I can search for my main body and here I can say a pattern to uh, let's say 10 pixels come back refresh so that this is uh, how our form is right now but later you know uh, we can give it more styling I'm actually not gonna focus more on styling and this is our very simple you know UI we have till now in the next video we actually you know gonna add some logics to it to create them and how to show them and how to edit them later so I'm gonna see you guys next time goodbye